Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Um, keep in mind, this is a general weekend love reading for August 11th through the 13th. So uh, it's predictive, okay? So some of these events may or may not happen for you. Um, take it with a grain of salt. Don't try to make it fit. <laughs> This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, so let's get into this reading for the weekend and see what is going on or what may be happening for you this weekend. Okay, self-indulgence, focusing on self, awesome. Self-worth, taking time to heal, maybe doing some shadow work, self-appreciation. Um, this It's all about you this weekend. Obviously, your focus is on yourself. You also have passion um having fun you could be spending some time with a particular person or others or talking to someone over this weekend where you have insane chemistry you like each other equally really great and you also have camera reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the fast past and making memories okay um now even with the camera you could be taking some pictures over the weekend maybe you do some photography or you're a photographer um that kind of energy playing out over this weekend it looks like it looks like you're just kind of focusing on yourself doing what you like to do for yourself okay which is a good thing right even if you're working you're still indulging in some way somebody's getting some ice cream i'm just hearing going out for ice cream maybe okay so Starting on Friday, it looks like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation you are going to be having or someone is having with you, okay? So let me just take a look here, okay? Wow. Okay, Virgo. Hold on a second. Saturday, reconciliation. And holy moly, Sunday, honeymoon. So like the whole weekend. Um... I want to say mostly Friday, but could be happening over this weekend here. Um, there's definitely going to be a heart-to-heart -heart convers. Whoa, what the heck was that? Yeah, that's a sign. There's definitely going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone over this weekend um, where you and this person will be talking or discussing your feelings, um, indulging and in having this heart-to-heart. -heart. Kind of like really talking about you know how you feel them talking about how they feel about you indulging also in time together spending some time together um let me see here you could be having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with friends as well maybe you're attending some kind of um retreat or some kind of group thing on the weekend where there's like everybody's opening up and are sitting around having some wine and just kind of like you know time with the girls time with the guys having some beers <laughs> you know a girl or guy whoever whatever you like it doesn't matter but there's definitely going to be an opening up here and talking about like i don't know i just kind of picture people sitting around and indulging in food um doing some really cool stuff that make like it's like a like a community also i'm hearing too okay that too so it's either with someone specifically okay there you go right when i said that so there is definitely going to be a conversation with a water sign a deep conversation um indulging in what are your hopes? What are your wishes? What are your plans? Where are you going? How do you feel? And interestingly enough, like again, I still can't unsee this little robot <laughs> chalice. <laughs> you see it? I said this last time, if you didn't catch that reading, I just can't unsee this robot <laughs> with these arms and these little hook hands. Like, I don't even know. Um, but it's kind of, you see how the lid is on this chalice? It's like all the emotions. There's an opening up of Pandora's box. They just said that. There's an opening of Pandora's box, letting all the secrets out. Shadow work to um, letting the secrets out. You're having a conversation with someone. Could be a male, could be a female, but it's like opening the lid off the deepest emotions, opening up that Pandora's box. Things you want to hear, things you don't want to hear, 
talking with someone specific or, you know, like it could be a counselor, it could be a lover, it could be a friend, getting to the heart of some issues here through some type of conversation happening on Friday. Okay. Ooh, okay. I also have a queen of swords. So you could be talking to a couple of friends. Um, hmm. Yeah, for some of you, or it's either a water sign or an air sign. There's an opening up here. You know, I feel like, um, there's definitely some truth. I feel like somebody is going to be, either you're going to be asking someone to open up and, and tell their secrets or reveal how they feel. Okay. Um, either you're going to be asking somebody that. And hoping they will indulge you, which they will, or someone's going to be asking you about how you feel about them, and hoping you will indulge. So Friday looks to be like um, like a, an opening up, uh, expressing feelings, saying everything. Okay. Oh yes, with the moon secrets coming out on Friday. Wow. Hmm. So this obviously could be, you can change the sexes. It could be two females talking, it could be two males talking, it could be male and female talking together, okay? Um, could be a Pisces, like I said, water sign, Cancer Scorpio, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but they will be significant on Friday. Let me see, I just want to get another card here in regards to that. Okay. Somebody's saying... Somebody, I feel like there's someone here who's been thinking about, like, how much should they tell you? How much should they, how much should they offer up? Should they tell you everything? Is it, should they leave a couple things or just give you one or two things? Yeah, there's a lot of contemplation. Um, this is deep. This is like real deep conversations. Things that you didn't know specifically about another person will be revealed on Friday. They'll tell you. They're going to tell you. Let me see. Their secrets, their deepest emotions, and their deepest feelings. One more card here. They're hesitant. This is not. This is not someone who generally, uh, if you, if you know them, um, this is not somebody new. Okay, but I feel like um, this isn't somebody who generally opens their heart. You know, they don't. They don't divulge their deepest feelings. I don't even know if this person's fully aware, but somehow through a heart to heart conversation, stuff starts coming out, like getting, getting to the heart of the matter, Don Henley, get to the heart of the matter. Okay. So I definitely feel, I don't feel like singing. I sang so much yesterday, y'all. I'm sung out. So yeah, getting to the heart of the matter. I just want to get, they just said, get, I'm going to pull two more messages here. Okay. Six of Swords. Can you hear the background? Oh my gosh. It's my um, son and my grandson are having like a, I don't know, a little discipline sesh. Okay. There's definitely something coming out about somebody's father, for sure. There's conversation about something. Okay. Someone, someone, you're, the person that you're talking to. There's conversations about the effect that a father had on them in their childhood. There was a father that left or abandoned. There's some kind of issue surrounding um, a father figure, okay, or an ex or someone who was in a position of authority, okay. So I feel like you're going to find out some truth about somebody's childhood or some issues with a father figure. It could be um, revealing you may be opening up about your history with your father. They might be opening up about their, or both of you, heart to heart, right? Um, or a boss as well. A situation with an Aries. I will say that, okay? An Aries. So let's move on to Saturday. Fat, uh, passion. I almost said fashion. Turn to the left. Fashion. So, and if you can get that one, please let me know what that song lyric is from. I'm losing my mind. Every time I hear a word, it just goes right to a song. I don't know what's going on with me. So there's passion and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life on Saturday. All right, let's take a look. What's going on, Virgo? What is going on for Saturday for Virgo? 
like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, Nine of Cups. A secret wish. A secret wish is being granted, Virgo. Wow. Yes. I feel like, um... <laughs> okay. The High Priestess can be Pisces energy. But there's some... Somebody secretly wishes. And it will be revealing very slightly. Very little bit. Well, you know what? Hold on a minute. There's an intuitive understanding that someone wishes for another person. There's a Leo. Okay, there's communication. Yeah, there's communication on definitely on Saturday. Somebody wanting, like they secretly wishing that you guys could get back together or you could get together or spend some time together. Um, I feel like... Um, There's something here about someone gaining the courage to um, reach out to you and either buy you a ticket or um, per uh, purchase a ticket for you to go see them or um, for them to... There's something here about needing this courage. I feel like somebody has been secretly wanting to um, either reconcile or come together with you. This is a past energy. Virgo, someone from the past. Okay. Now the past could be any time from now, um, all the way back to forever and ever ago. Like, I mean, the past could also be uh, someone that you met three or four weeks ago. Okay. That kind of thing. Right. But there's a reconciliation happening here. And I feel like you're going to get some kind of um, message from this person. Could, like I said, it could be a Pisces, it could be a Leo. Um, where they tell you that they have this idea or these plans and it's taking a lot of courage and strength to bring this to you to tell you that they want to be with you or they want to reconnect with you i don't know why it's taking strength and courage for this person to do this let me get another clarifying card here okay ace of wands wow I could tell you this, like I, this person is ready for growth and change with you. So this is someone that you were connected with in the past that there's insane chemistry with. You're going to be hearing from them on Saturday. Okay, Virgo. Um, I definitely feel like I can't unsee that Ace of Wands either. There's definitely passion. <laughs> let me just tell you, let me just tell you and um, a turning point happening here definitely and it's it almost feels like it's a truly favorable time for you guys to reconcile i think we're still in the venus retrograde i'm not 100 percent sure are we we might be coming out of it but yes you've got a past person showing up here on saturday for sure and um you said just get two more cards this person is ready to like light the torch and lead the way ready for this growth definitely <laughs> I just heard um, they definitely want to get lucky with you. That's for sure. All right. There you go. Yeah. Six of cups. Oh, Saturday is uh, Saturday is like drenched in passion and reconciliation with someone for sure. Someone having you on their mind, that kind of thing. Just thinking about you and reaching out to you and just kind of like I feel like you get some kind of text message of some sort with that page of pentacles where it's like, hey, I got some news. I got a new job, I'm gonna be in your area. Or um, I want you to come celebrate this new job that I have or this new position, I'm starting this new project. And um, things are going really well. And I'm really passionate about that. And I wanna spend, celebrate. I just feel like I wanna celebrate, you know? Let's go out, go get some drinks. Here's a bartender sitting here, gotta go up and order. Yeah, somebody's definitely, you're gonna get you're going to get asked to come celebrate somebody's win or success. And it's a past person. It's a past person. Now, Sunday. Oh, my gosh. You've got camera and honeymoon. So there, uh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So somebody's going to be taking a trip possibly on Sunday, bringing the camera, making memories, taking pictures, going somewhere, 
I feel like someone's got pictures of you still looking at pictures from your honeymoon. Perhaps someone that you are, you know, married to, obviously, or they have pictures, they're reminiscing about time when you were together, the last time you were together, okay? Also that too. But I do see some kind of like trip coming up. Yeah, look, you got an apology coming in too on Saturday. Um, this is planning a trip, definitely. Planning a trip, planning a vacation, um, maybe some holiday time. I guess I'm not sure what holidays are coming up. Uh, some of you might have birthday in August. So, you know, there might be talk, somebody wanting to come see you on your birthday if you're an August Virgo as well. Okay. For others, this is just like, I feel like this is very birthday giftish. Somebody's sending you a picture <laughs> as well of themselves. And you might be receiving that. And or there is this person looking at your pictures as well. Some camera shots. Let me see here. And the two of wands. Yeah, definitely making plans, future plans. Okay, we've got queen of wands. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, let's see. Could have a connection with a fire sign. Ooh. Hmm. There's an apology for some kind of argument or separation that happened or maybe a divorce as well if you have a, someone that you're divorced from i do feel like someone's that person will be reminiscing about you on sunday or someone that you broke up with but the time that you spent together whether it was a honeymoon or just vacations or trips you took before i feel like this person definitely this is someone who has an august birthday i always feel like august birthdays for virgos are leo virgo cusps always okay so if that's you definitely going to be um over this weekend maybe a happy early birthday or some type of conversation where somebody is you know been thinking about you looking at the pictures that kind of thing now it doesn't have to be a lover as well this could be a friend or someone that you were connected with that you haven't talked to in a really long time there might have been an argument or a separation and there is an apology coming too let me see okay yeah the world in reverse so this person i will definitely say um has tried to free them tried to free themselves and move on but it looks like they can't move on from you until they until you forgive them for something and then they're able to move on but i also feel like um this person is ready for a trip or vacation or to do something and they can't go unless you sit, you go with them or unless you come with them or you connect with them okay so i feel like Saturday and Sunday has a lot to do with um, reconnecting with someone, friend, lover, whichever it is, but definitely the, the bulk portion of the weekend. I feel like that energy is playing out. Friday looks mostly like just kind of opening up and talking and revealing some inner truths, that kind of energy. Let's see what else is going on for you this weekend. What other messages maybe coming up here for Virgo? And also, if your birthday is in September, don't discount Sunday's reading. It could just be a friend who's reaching out and wants to, um, they've been thinking about you and they want to connect with you or they want to see you, a friend or a lover as well, or make plans to go on a trip. Okay, there you go. Just right when I said that, new plans will be evolving. So these energies are fluid. I just want you to know it's not cut and dry it's not black and white okay so the the conversation heart to heart could happen on sunday the trip could happen the plans could get made on friday so just kind of just let the energy flow i'm stating friday saturday and sunday just to give it some organization but understand that the weekend is very fluid and it can it's kind of like the grief <laughs> stage you go through different stages this energy can happen uh you know out of order so keep that in mind okay don't discount if a honeymoon situation or something to do with your pictures or reminiscing happens on Friday, that's what I'm talking about here. But there's new plans evolving for sure, Virgo. Okay? So there's something brewing. Virgo, there's something brewing over this weekend with somebody making plans to connect. Good news about money is also coming in, which is great. And I did say there is someone here who is bringing good news about their money situation. 
Maybe somebody got a job. Maybe somebody hit the lottery. There's definitely going to be um, somebody wants to share this good news with you. Could be you, Virgo. <coughs> it could be you. <coughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. It could be you. And somebody wants to celebrate, take you out and celebrate this good news. Okay. Wow, and you have the chariot here, so time to go. Looks like... Um, it, it, I'm just here and go for it. Just do it. Whatever. There's something over this weekend here, whether it's related to what I'm telling you or something else that you have in mind that you don't want to, in, in, or I, I almost feel like you're telling yourself not to indulge in something, but I feel like the message here is do it. Indulge. Go for it. Go after this. Don't hesitate. Okay. I don't know what that means for you. Hopefully it's for, for your good. Hopefully it's not something that will actually screw you up. But if you make a great memory out of it, then, you know, hey, it's up to you. Don't do anything to harm yourself, Virgo. Okay. So, ghosted or blocked. What's coming up about that? Okay. There's fear and anxiety also about being ghosted or blocked or someone. Could be a very bossy male. That would be a fire sign. Um, maybe you're fearing that there's a fire sign who has ghosted you or blocked you. Are you having some fear and anxiety about that? I don't think that's the case. Um, and or someone, that person has a fear that you've ghosted them. Okay, the past returns. I think we already knew that. There's also a new chapter occurring. Yes, definitely. There's something new happening here. Even though the past is returning, there's something new happening here. So I feel like this is a message of let go of the past in the sense of um, let go of any grievances. So you can have a new chapter if, a, if the past person returns and that's something you want. Um, or any fears, let go of any fears or anxieties about the past returning. Now, for some of you, this is very symbolic of your childhood as well. And as I said, there could be some you know, conversation happening over the weekend where you're indulging, you're talking about like your relationship with your dad or something along those lines or an ex and the past is coming up, but all of this energy is playing out so that you can deal with it. You know, these old wounds need healing. So you can deal with this energy and start that new chapter of your life, either about an ex, someone you were with before or how your relationship with your father had, um, what, what type of impact it had on your life. Okay, there's also a love offer. Look, head of household, there you go. Hmm, there's a love offer definitely coming for the masculines, right? And there's a father figure who's guiding you as well. Um, some of you are getting a love offer from someone who is a father figure or father. You know, they could have kids, that kind of person. And I also have, um, yeah, for the masculines are receiving a love offer over this weekend as well. There's also an influential male in your life who's supporting you. And um, don't be surprised if you find a, a, like a lot of extra money in your bank account. I feel like this is a blip, a glitch. <laughs> They're just saying it's like, you know, one minute you have like 10,000 in your bank account and then you go back in on like Saturday and you have 40,000. I feel like it's a glitch, okay? Don't get excited. I mean, you can get excited, but don't take it out and spend it because it's going to come right back out again. Um, <laughs> sorry, Charlie. Okay, I just have to give the message. There's some kind of a glitch. It doesn't have to be that exact amount, but it's definitely going to be more than what you had in there. And I think you're going to be like scratching your head. What the heck is this? Where'd this money come from? If anything, I feel like you need to investigate it because, hey, you know, you do have the Wheel of Fortune, so maybe something, maybe something strange happens here. Definitely investigate it. Don't spend it right away. Okay, direct on a female. Oh, I'm hearing someone say to you, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on. We're going to do this. We have no time to waste. Let's go. Let's get on that bus. Let's get on that train. Let's get on. Let's just take an impromptu trip from a direct honest female. It could be an air sign, you know, saying to you, come on, let's go. Let's go. So you might get someone like a friend or maybe a lover or someone 
who just wants to take an impromptu, spontaneous road trip or go somewhere, okay? Um, and I think she's going to be right out with it on over the weekend. You're also getting a sweet text message uh, from a Leo. Okay, yes. Sweet text message from a Leo. I'm just going to say that. That's all I'm going to say. There's more to that, but... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet text. There's some, some coming. So, f all right. So, let me just say this. For some of you, there is a sweet text message, Cupid's arrows, love messages about travel from Leo, okay? For others of you, um, someone gaining the courage to reach out to you, tell you they're in love with you, um, or send some kind of love message, write it in the words, um, in the text or something, um, taking a lot of courage. I don't know. It kind of feels like something here about a reconciliation, which I was seeing on Saturday. This kind of just shores it up for me. You know, Virgo, um, this per I don't know who this person is, but I'm picking up this energy that this person is very intimidated by you. And whether they're a Leo or whomever they are, they're very intimidated by you, but they're crazy in love with you. And this person just, they want to they wanna see you. They just want to love you. Oh my gosh, yeah. New love beginnings happening here. You have a motherly figure and a fatherly figure guiding you over this weekend. So if your parents aren't here, or at least one of them aren't here anymore, um, they're definitely watching out for you. You are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Cherish your kids, animals, and try to just be one with the love. Unconditional love for self, especially loving yourself as much this weekend as anything. Because I feel like you're probably, you know, you got some opening up stuff, some deep, intense psychological, like, wounds coming up that are getting cleaned up this weekend. And I just feel like... For you, like, make sure you're loving yourself, like hugging yourself, like giving yourself hugs. I don't know why I need to say that, but go ahead. Group hug, everybody, virtual group hug. So I, I definitely feel like your weekend is, oh, it's kind of exciting. It starts, it kind of um, accelerates a little bit. It starts off like kind of simple and you not having any plans and then these surprise type of things pop up for you over this weekend so you know if it goes in chronological order that is but i'm gonna leave that there i hope that you guys enjoyed that thank you to everyone who's subscribing to the only fans i am super excited to get the video up on monday i think it's monday yeah monday's at 5 p.m but if you can join that would be awesome so you guys understand i will be using um pretty much I just want to show you before I go, like cards like these. This is the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. I can't use these cards on here. So they're definitely, they're still tarot card readings, but they are, um, and I also have my, these cards, which I could probably use on here, but some of them are really bad. Um, but yeah, I'll be using these on there. So yeah, you have to pay to subscribe because it's not open to the public. Nobody needs to know our business. So it's completely private. Nobody can see you on there if you have a concern about joining that. It's just what I do here, but I'm using those cards. So it's a little more freaky deaky. It's $4.99 to join, $4.99 a month, right? So hey, if you can afford it, that'll be awesome. Join in. You can cancel at any time as well. Okay, you guys? So yeah, personal reading link, description box below, everything else you need, one link right down there in the description box. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and you have a really great time with whatever you're doing here. I hope it goes well. Let me know. I'll be back on Sunday for your um, the Q&A for the members here and also um, Sunday evening. Okay, you guys? So love you very much. Take care. Bye.